Welcome to Console Cowboys. In this series, we're going to hack a whole bunch of devices in a lab format which you can follow along with and learn about hacking RF with software-defined radio. This is going to be based on my recent research on hacking software-defined radio systems, which is also part of a blog posted on Console Cowboys, which contains walkthroughs, output, pictures, and other data. Back in the early 2000s, I used to reverse engineer intrusion detection systems for integration with newly emerging wireless systems but so much has changed in wireless since then. Recently, I decided to learn more about hacking devices using software-defined radio and quickly came to the conclusion that there is not many good resources for doing so. I looked around the internet. I only found a few scattered tutorials on random things which were beneficial, but mostly theoretical and no detail on how to actually perform attacks for real. So I bought some devices and some tools and decided to figure it out myself. My friend Greg was over recently and wanted to play with some RF as well, so we grabbed this cheap alarm system, which we turned into a CTF of sorts. We came up with flags to capture and hacked away for a few days. The alarm system was an excellent target for learning. So this first blog in the series is a walkthrough tutorial on ways to manipulate alarm system components with software-defined radio from a hacker's perspective. I also have a bunch of other devices I will be showing as the videos progress, which are either real-world targets or require specific skill sets not found in the alarm system target. For example, hacking into security gates and creating your own key fobs for unfettered access. Opening garage doors and cars protected by rolling code. Maybe inspecting other things going on with cars, random devices. If you have any ideas, post them below. Hopefully other people can learn from this post and contribute detailed real-world attacks using software-defined radio. In this series, we will look at each target's functionality, profile possible attacks against the target, think about what types of attacks make sense based on the device at hand and its functionality, and finally, perform those attacks against the device. Everything will be shown and fully documented so we can remember all the things we learned and share it with others. If you would like to follow along with this first blog, you will need to pick up a few items. First, you will need the target alarm system which can be found at Home Depot for $30 to $40, depending if you want all or just some of the components. You can get away with just the motion sensor and the door alarm unless you want an additional target for practice. For a visual of what we're talking about, the target is a wireless four-channel doorbell and alert kit, which comes with a motion sensor, a doorbell, a door alert, and a base station. For $29, you can remove the door alert and only get the other components. You will also need a few hardware tools to hack software-defined radio. The reality of hacking any radio system, whether that's Wi-Fi, Zigbee, BLE, or industrial RF frequencies, is that you need hardware to transmit and receive data. The tools that we'll be using are not all that expensive as far as professional penetration testing tools go. First off is the HackRF, which costs about $300 and can receive and transmit in a wide range of frequencies. Second is the Yardstick one, which costs about $100 and can send and receive in sub-gigahertz frequencies. And lastly is the RTL-SDR, which costs $20 and works well, but only for receiving. The majority of the attacks on the screen will be performed against the alarm system. The remaining attacks will be performed against security gates, garage doors, and cars. That's everything for this intro video. In the next video, we're gonna hop right in and start hacking away. I will place links to everything below. If any of this sounds interesting to you, hit the like button, subscribe, and see you in the next video.